What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with another video. And this week I'm looking a little rough because I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys. And I'm hoping this is a vendor that you guys can use for wholesale. But I don't know yet because I haven't seen the product yet. We're about to find out together. And I do need to mention that this video is sponsored by dresslily.com, which is the vendor where this product is from. This is all the product here. I did open it just because I knew there were hats in there that I bought and I wanted to make sure I didn't flatten them out, but I haven't looked at everything. So we're going to find out together if this product is something you guys can resell and make a profit off of it. So dresslily.com is really a retail vendor, but they're based out of China. So the pricing is fairly decent for most of the products where you should be able to at least flip it and make a profit off of it, selling it at retail yourself. The quality is there for the product, which we're about to find out now. So I have my phone so I can tell you guys the pricing that I pay for each item. I tried to make sure to pick items where I felt like you can sell it and make a profit off of it because there were some products where it was like the pricing was a little too high and it would be tough to make a profit, so I left it alone. Since I pull the hats to the top, I'll go ahead and start with the hats. The other product came in these poly bags that has their name and website on it, so it's fairly decently packaged. The hats, I think, got a little crushed being packaged this way, so I had to fluff them out a bit, but still pretty decent shape, and the quality of this is pretty decent. I know I have two hats, one in the camo color and the other one in black. The pricing for these hats were $9.20. I see a lot of boutiques retailing these at like $30 and $35. And this is a hot trend for this fall winter time. So this is a good thing to get. You can even wear these in spring. I will have a discount code that I'll link down in the description box so you can save a little more money off of each item. So it fits really nice, the quality is there, the brim is not all flimsy like I was expecting, so this is cute. You can wear it that way or wear it this way. Sorry I have a mirror over there, I keep looking at myself trying to put it on. But I like this hat, let's see what the black one looks like. black one has the same camel color, I guess you would call it a belt around it. These are really cute. I actually really like these a lot. You can definitely make a profit off of these. Those, I believe, are the only accessories I got off of there, but they had jewelry, they had handbags, they have shoes, they have everything on there. So there are more accessories. That those are the only two that I got, though, just because those are on trend and you are able to make a profit off of those. The other things I got were swimwear and sweaters, so I'll see what's next in the bag. It looks like I have swimwear on the top, so we'll go ahead and I'll try to do all swimwear together. I just realized that the poly bag doesn't say dress lily, it says dress fo or dress fo, whichever one is supposed to be. But then the website is dresslily.com. Oh, this looks like it might be cute. I don't remember which one it is, but so it's a one piece and it laces up in the back and it's a. Uh, tailish blue color it does have the padding on the inside and it's lined which is good it has elastic right up underneath the bra piece i just noticed this one has a zaffo tag on it so i'm guessing all these vendors are pretty much the same so that lets you know there inside it has the zaffo size tag in there as well so i don't know it must be coming from all the same place so it fits pretty nice. The quality is definitely there where you can actually go swimming in this and you don't have to worry about it being see-through. It laces up in the back. There is a lot of string, so I would have to figure out something to do with that or just cut it. But let's see what the pricing was for this because this is definitely something you can resell if you're just looking for a basic one piece with a little fashion touch to the back. Okay, so this one is called the Crisscross High Leg One Piece Swimwear. And the color is greenish blue 
and it was $16.99. So for $17, it's pretty good. Most swimsuits are like $29.99 and up. So if you double that $17, you're selling it for like $35. So it's a close profit or you can take a little less of a profit and resell it if you wanted something more on the basic side for swimwear. So I'm going to try to move faster because I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. But this is going to be another swimsuit, same poly bag. This color is gorgeous. What is this? Oh, this is a two piece with the top like this and the bottom. I'm going to put it on in a second. Although that bottom looks a little too big for me because I think it's a small. And I'm really more like an extra small, but let's try it. That's actually the perfect fit. This fabric is really nice. It has the padding in it again on the bra top. And it is a double layer. So once again, you don't have to worry about anything showing through if you actually do get wet. Me, I'm sitting on the sideline anyway, so it doesn't matter, but for any of you that actually do swim. Okay, so this is really cute. I like this a lot. If I didn't have all this extra clothing underneath, it would be super cute, but I'm not going on video like that with just a swimsuit on. It's cute, I like it a lot. I definitely would resell it. Let's see what the pricing is. So this one's called the High Rise Gallop One Shoulder Bikini. The color I have is Merlot in a size small. This one was $17.99. So a dollar more than that basic one, but it's actually cuter. I like this fabric more and it has more of a design to it. So this is definitely worth $35 or more. Okay, next swimsuit, because I'm sure there's another one. Actually, there's a few more. I think those are some swimsuits. So we have three more swimsuits. By the way, I ordered a total, I think, of 11 or 12 pieces, and it was only $150. So that was almost like getting two full pre-packs for $150 bucks or $75 per pack. It's definitely a good deal, especially since so far the quality has been good. I see some yellow, so I'm going there because I love me some yellow in the summertime. Oh, this one's another basic one piece, but it has the low back instead of the lace up back, it's padded again, and the elastic under the bra. I love this color, this is so pretty. And I like the high cut on the bottom too. This one's really cute for it to be a basic one. I actually like this a lot. The pricing on this one is $14.49. So doubling the price, you're looking at $29, so just under $30. And the title of this one is called Backless High Cut One Piece Swimwear, and I have it in the yellow. This one's actually an extra small. You know what I mean? I'll literally be laid out at the beach just like this with this hat on. With some shades, even though these ain't the right shades. These are just some I had on earlier today. Okay, next swimsuit. I'm definitely going to do like a styling video for each one of these, especially once I get to the clothing. I don't want this video to be too long and that's too much. But this one's just like the first swimsuit I tried on, but in a pink. And the fabric is a little different. It's more of like a cottony fabric. It's not actually cotton though. But I like this fabric more if I'm going to pay $35 for a basic look. I'm definitely going with this fabric. This one was definitely a steal. If there's something you're going to buy off of there and resell, it would be this. Because the quality is there. It is cute even though from the front it looks basic. But then you have the lace up back. It's super cute. And the pricing was only $10.79. So you can literally sell this for like $22. And you'll double your money. Or you can go higher on the price. The title of it is called Plunge Lace Up One Piece Swimwear and the color is called Bean Red even though it looks more like a moth to me in person. This one is super cute. The link for it will be down in the description so you can click there. The coupon code will also be down in the description as well so you can save 20% off of your total order. But let's keep it going. So last swimsuit and it looks like it's a printed one so it better be cute. Oh yeah, this is a tie-dye two-piece that I did. So it's like a tank top, a crop tank top, and it's twisted front. 
and then the high waist bottoms to match. I hope I can fit it because my butt's not that big, but we're gonna try it. It's a size small. It does have the padding on the top. It is more of the swimsuit material, but it's not lined. So this one, I would have to do a water test on it to make sure it's something you can use in the water. So I struggled a little bit to get this on, but I think it's just because I have so much on it. Well, I have the tube top underneath it, so it was just too much, but the bottoms aren't too big for me to just sit and wear it right now, but I know if I got in the water, I wouldn't be safe, so I definitely would need extra small. But the swimsuit is cute. And the one thing I noticed about this website is a lot of the sizes were selling out pretty quickly. So if there's something you see on there and you want to buy a pack and resell it, you want to buy it right away because it will be gone quick. So now pricing on this one. This one's called Front Tie-Dye Scoop Neck Tank Kini Swimsuit. The color is multi. I think there was a few different color combinations for the tie-dye. And the pricing is $14.87. So you'll be selling it for about $30 if you double. $30 truly isn't that bad for a swimsuit because you go in somewhere like Target, they're charging $19.99 per piece anyway or somewhere around there because they sell it by the piece versus as a set. So that's all for the swimwear, which actually turned out better than I expected. So far this entire haul has turned out better than I expected. I haven't done the clothing yet, which I think I got all sweaters since it's winter or almost winter time now. So I figured that would be suitable for this timing, but I wanted to do swimwear too for those of you looking for it in the coming months. Um, I do want to mention shipping time because that's one thing that I didn't mention. I think from the date that I placed the order, it took about a week for me to actually get the package. So that was pretty good with shipping. Since this video was sponsored by Dress Lily, I don't know what the shipping cost is. That's something you'll definitely want to look into. I can't speak on it because I didn't actually pay the shipping. But that's something you want to look into when placing this because you want to see how much it's going to take away from your actual profit. But that being said, since this haul has been going well so far, I'm thinking for the giveaway, I may do a pack from Dress Lily to give away to you guys because so far everything's been good and the pricing has been great. But if you guys don't know about the giveaway yet, make sure you watch that video, which I'll try to link somewhere up on the screen so that way you guys can hear the rules of the giveaway. There's three rules. There's going to be three winners with three different prizes, so make sure you guys keep up with that. But let's get into the clothing now. I think this one was a sweater dress. Yeah, and it's pretty thick. It feels nice. Let's see how warm it actually keeps me. Even though I'm in Florida, so I don't need it that warm, but it's warm because I'm already hot. I don't know how I feel it yet. It's definitely decent quality. It is a size small, so a size too big for me. I think it was a size small. I gotta check. It's short though. I will say that. But with some thigh-high boots, this will be really cute. And I will probably belt it since it is so big on me, considering I got a size up. But it's something that I can definitely style and wear. Let's see what the pricing is for it. So this one's called the Cable Knit Raglan Sleeve Cutout Textured Tunic Sweater. It's in black, size small. The pricing was $21.95. That one was probably a little too high for the pricing, especially if you're going to resell it. For someone just buying a sweater at retail, it's a decent price. But to resell, it's probably too high for this because you're going to be looking at like $40 and up just to make a profit. And I don't know that I would pay 40 for it. But I can definitely style it and wear it. Next sweater. It looks like I have two of the same thing. I don't know if I made a mistake and ordered two of the same thing, which I didn't mean to. Or if they just accidentally sent me two, but we're going to find out when I check the receipt in a moment 
This, what is this? I don't know, let me just put it on and figure it out. Well, it's warm, I can tell you that. I think it was supposed to be worn like this. Let me look at the picture. Which, yeah, I made the mistake and ordered two of the same thing. I wasn't supposed to do that. But the pricing was $19.99. The name of it is the Cow Neck Mock Button Cable Knit Knitwear in Light Khaki. Let me look at the picture and see how it's worn. It is worn off the shoulder like this, and then one picture had it like a hood. But let's see, like this. It's actually cute like that. I get my hair out the way. This is actually cute with some hoops. Again, I would put on thigh highs and I would wear it. But I don't think I would wear it off on my shoulder like that. Maybe. I don't know. I got to figure it out. But this is okay. I probably wouldn't buy it and resell it. But the quality is there if this is a style that you like. And I'll have two of these, so I gotta figure out what to do with the other one. So for the last item, since I made the mistake of ordering two of the same thing, is one more sweater. Which is a crop sweater, and I think this is supposed to be twisted in the front, so let me get it on and get it right. I can't quite figure out how I want to wear it. You can wear it up on the shoulders, which I don't care for as much. You can do a one shoulder, or you can do it off the shoulder. I think I would probably wear it that way with high-waisted jeans. I think I would wear it like this with high-waisted jeans. I'm not so crazy about the color since it's kind of yellow. But let's see what the pricing is. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want this since, since it says it's supposed to be white, but it's very yellow. It's called the Twisted V-neck Crop Top or Crop Sweater, and it was $22.99. That was probably the most expensive item I have on there and it wasn't worth that pricing. So maybe the clothing on there would be something to just purchase as a personal item versus trying to resell. But the accessories and the swimwear, and I think there was lingerie on there too, was really good pricing. I just didn't try it. Those are items that would be easy to buy and resell from dresslily.com. So overall, I would recommend DressLily.com for those of you that need a vendor that you don't have to have a seller's permit for or those of you that are international or someone just looking for additional product for their boutique. You can definitely check out their website to find some products for your boutique. There was also men's product on there, which I didn't try yet, but it's on there. I'll be sure to link all the items in the description box with the pricing and also the discount code so you can save the 20% off of your order. So that'll hopefully help you guys to make more of a profit. If you haven't watched the video as far as the giveaway, be sure to check that out because that is still going right now. We have not picked the three winners yet, but make sure you check out that video so that way you can enter today. I hope to bring more videos like this to you guys so you can check out more vendors whether you need to be registered or not. But to give you more vendor options versus just giving you the list, I actually review the product so that way you guys can see it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so that way you can get notified when I upload. But until next time, thank you guys for watching.